waterworks. <laughs> the water park <laughs> is <laughs> in session. Hold on, let me get you the tissues. Peter is getting ready to ask 15-year-old Riley a big question. And it all started with bowling. Riley's brother and my son uh, bowled together for years. Um, they bowled for the high school team. They bowled for the junior bowlers. And like I, I met her family through that. Um, it was sometime a little later that, she, she, I guess she was about nine years old. Um, I was recently single. I, I started coaching her. That's how Riley's mom and Peter started dating and eventually got engaged. And Riley and Peter's bond grew every day to the point where he wanted to adopt her. Me and me and Barbara laying down getting ready to go to bed and I just I just turned over to her and I was asking and I asked him like what what do you think about me adopting Riley? And and she needed some time to think about it. And one of the one of the things that, you know, she she had let on was I guess one of the struggles was how did she feel that Riley's dad would feel about it? Now, Riley's dad unfortunately passed away uh, years, several years ago. Um, and and we talked about that. Um, and I, she eventually gave me the okay on it. Um, so I started making the plans to, to, to make that happen. Peter loves to write, so he wrote Riley a sweet speech before the big ask, but told us it was the most difficult thing he's ever written. I changed probably, I don't know, 30 times in, in a three week span. I, I added stuff, deleted stuff, edited stuff, just I wanted to make it as perfect as possible. Waterworks! <laughs> the water park <laughs> is <laughs> in session. Hold on, let me get you the tissues. And that perfect speech had him with tears in his eyes before he even started talking. I, I didn't give you life, life gave me you. When I think about you, I often think about this quote, quote and I smile. What I have is one of the best presents that I could ever give. And I wanted to give it to one of the greatest gifts I've ever received. Meeting your mother is one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me. But meeting you has truly changed my life. You've been my inspiration, and you continue to inspire me. My world is a better place because you're in it. You make me want to be a better person for everyone around me, be your brother, a better father to my kids and to you, and a better partner to your mother. I wasn't there for the first 11 years of your life. I didn't get to see your first steps, hear your first words, or hold you on the slump. I do not plan on missing another moment of your life. I tell you often how truly proud I am of you and that I love you. Typically, you follow that with an eye roll or that ugly look you give me. <laughs> but I am, and I do. And I have no doubt that your father would be so proud of the young woman you've become. I have, I have no doubt that he's looking down and smiling. And I hope he is proud of the work that I am continuing in his present, in his absence. I promise that no matter what, I will always be here for you. Throughout your ups and downs, every competition, every time. You are my daughter. You'll always be my daughter. But truthfully, you aren't. And after talking to your mother and your brother, I would like to know if you'd like to change that. <laughs> the reaction was better than anything I'd, I'd even played out in my head. Like I, I, I really had thoughts of how I thought this might go, and it, and it far exceeded my own expectations. In the house, I'm definitely the the emotional person. Um, Riley, not so much, you know, her, her mother, same there. You know, they're, they're not a family that does, you know, a great deal of emotion. So so to see her, like, 
fly across the couch and give me that hug. And, and it was definitely probably the best hug I've ever gotten in my life from anybody. 